I am quite certain you believe you know. All I have to do is point to the money. All I have to do is point to the money, and you believe you know the root cause to this craziness. And my claim is, number one, it is because of cases like this that Americans believe, quote, money buys results in Congress. 75% of Americans believe money buys results in Congress. A little bit more Democrats than Republicans, but I guarantee you before the Republicans took over, it was just as many Republicans as Democrats. So whether it's two-thirds or three-fourths, here's the one thing we all agree about. Money buys results in Congress. And that leads to number two. That belief erodes trust in the institution. So last year, Gallup found that 11% of Americans had confidence in Congress. Things were looking up this year, that number was 12%. But then the New York Times reported that actually it's actually 9% of Americans who have confidence in Congress. 9%, right? Put that in some context. If in 1974, the federal government had somehow done a survey of the Soviet Union and found that 15% of Soviet citizens had confidence in the Soviet government, we would have declared victory. Communism was obviously dead. The government had no confidence of its people, 15%. But we have 9%. It is certainly the case that there was more support for the British crown in our government at the time of the revolution than there is support for our Congress today. And that leads number three, low trust erodes participation. Rock the Vote, extraordinary organization that turned out the largest number of young voters in the last election, arguably, actually, absolutely certain that they produced the election of Barack Obama, found that in 2010, a significant number of their people were not going to turn out and vote. So they asked them why. The number one reason by far, two to one over the second highest reason, was, quote, no matter who wins, corporate interests will still have too much power and prevent real change. And it's not just kids. The vast majority who could have voted in the last election did not vote in part because of this belief. That's point one. Money here erodes trust. Now, you might ask, well, is that all it does? Is it the only thing it does? I mean, if it's all that it does is erode trust, maybe we're just wrong. Maybe we shouldn't worry about it because, you know, it's actually not doing any harm. There's no reason to worry that it maybe is screwing things up. So does it do something then other than just erode trust? What does money actually do here? 